Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Oh, no! Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Hey, man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking killed him! Yo, where are you, man? I'm chasing T through the oil field. Shit. Okay. I'm not far away. Try and stop him. Fucking cook at me! 
You wanna kill me? Take a fucking shot! Finish the fucking job, Franklin! you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. I mean, there's got to be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, Dean. It is what it is. Hey, it's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just got to wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. Got my kids back, my wife, got a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck!
We in the corner, bro. This will get me out. Come on, man. Let's do this, me and you. No use of running, man. Come out. We'll finish this. Franklin, you were like a son to me. We both used each other. That's what happened. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. If there was another way, man! I thought about it, man. This the only way. You a snitch, okay? You know what that means. Actions got consequences, all right? Come on, you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. Uh -huh. Every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking A right! I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! You just keep telling yourself that. It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did! You! Two-bit gangster going three-bit. And now you're gonna... Gap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. My, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know, I'm sorry. You hip. me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. Man, rub me, homie, all right? Imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. 
Oh, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Oh, Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Heading to the foundry place. That car gets me wet. What the fuck? Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. Look, man, Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. 
Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we're doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Can you get to him? 
Shit! I'm aiming for your head! Fine! I'll try and find him! You fucking idiot! Oh, oh. Trap! There's 
no metal here! What's up? Huh? What's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's uh Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? And if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanna die, that fucker, since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. Ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Please, pair of bitches. Hey! Hey! Lamar! Franklin, send their best! Hey, man, he got tricked, man, bro! Pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who tanked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? We got Wei Chang and Agent Haynes on the list. Hey, 
old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. No more triads coming out. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's next? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt! Radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dream. <clears throat> that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him.
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. to you and people who ain't and the people who ain't gotta go me i'm not rational i don't care if you're useful or not i feel like taking you out devo so that's what i'm doing this is a serious offer work for me you'll have everything you'll ever want in 
All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A, a fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a stick and give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You're dead! You don't want the fat man around either. This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. If I empty a clip into the trunk! Slick with a few minutes for some one on one time. Good tea? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so! Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. 
as uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.